In this video, we're going to continue our WordPress plugin development. And I had Mark ask a question in the comments, how do you take what we've built so far and use that on other websites? So in the previous plugin tutorial videos, we've worked on building a plugin from scratch. And we had Mark ask about adding that plugin to another website. So a lot of times when I do development and other developers are developing a WordPress site, they'll do it on a local machine, that way they don't have to FTP every time they make a change on the, on the site. So we're going to go through two ways of how to add that plugin to another site. So let's get started. So we've got our code here that we've done. And the easiest way to do this is to go to Finder. And we've got our plugin here, the Idea Pro example plugin. And this is the, the code that we've written. And this is on the Idea Pro example folder. And then over here, I've got ideapro.io, which is just a testing site that we use. And this is the plugins directory for the ideapro.io site. So one of the easiest ways is to just copy this folder over to another site's directory. So paste item, make sure you're pasting it, which I've already done before. So paste it into the plugins directory and then use an FTP program to upload it. So we have an FTP program here. So this is the ideapro.io folder on the server. And we're simply just going to upload the ideapro example plugin to the server. And it's now done. So now if we go to, this is ideapro.io, if we go to the plugins and we look down, we have a bunch of plugins on this site. If we look down, here is the Idea Pro example plugin that we just uploaded. So we can activate that plugin and it'll be ready to go. Let's activate it. So now it's activated and we're ready to use all the functions that we built in that plugin. So we're going to deactivate it. I'm going to go back to the FTP and Idea Pro, find it here. Uh, here it is. So we're going to delete it. because I'm going to show you the second way that you can do it. Okay, so now if we go back to plugins here on ideapro.io, that plugin is gone. It's not here now. Okay, so the other way to do it is to go to your plugin folder that you've been developing, right click and compress. So whether you're on Windows and you want to zip it or you're on a Mac and you want to compress it. So now that we've got it compressed, we can go to the Idea Pro IO plugins in the WordPress admin, add a new plugin, upload, choose file, and then we need to navigate to that plugins folder. So here is our Idea Pro example.zip file. Open, install now, and then we can activate the plugin. So I hope that, hope that answers the question. Make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, click the bell for future videos. Thanks.